Hi. Come on in. Can you see me? I'm all lit up. Nice to see you back. Hopefully you're happy to be back. I'm glad to have you back. If you're new here, hello. You've just entered Connie's little corner. And yes, that does make me Connie, the one and only. And yes, today I am wearing uh, the shorty piece again because Mother Nature's still doing that plus 100 degrees thing. The new one you saw me in, the really 26-inch long one you saw me pull the other day, I had it on a, wow, it is too hot to have all that hair. <laughs> so, and I did name this one because this is a short bob, and in honor of one of my favorite all-time movies, I have named this wig Roberta. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. My favorite movie, in case you couldn't guess, with Patrick Swayze is Tu Wong Fu. And there's a young lady in there. Um, her name is Roberta. And as she changes who she is, she goes from being Bobby to wanting to be called Roberta. So this wig, in honor of change, is now named Roberta. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> Don't care. Anyway, for those of you who are new, please check down below. You will find my link where you can go to Timu, spin the wheel. They will give you as a new user when you download the app you'll get a coupon bundle worth one hundred dollars and you will also get fifty percent off your first order if you use my code right here afc95851 that code is what's going to get you fifty percent off your first order all users can spin the wheel if you do click on any of the links i have below it will bring you to the page that looks like the new user page. If you want, if you don't want to spin the wheel, you don't have to. All right. The, all new users should, though. But regular users, you don't have to. You can just refresh the page and it will take you to regular shopping where you can find the items that I show you. Uh, I am working with Timo to try to get more of a direct link to the items I show right now. I don't know what they're doing, but it's what they're doing. We have to live with it. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. I have one full bag and possibly two bags of Timu to show you today. So let's get into this. This first item, and I don't know if I priced everything. So if I did, I'll give you the prices. If not, you'll see them up here and the links below. Uh, $3.77. I know it's been a while since you saw me get one, but look at this hat. I had to have it. Doesn't it remind you of the uh, pillowcases that I got the other day that had these big puffy flowers on them, like these? But I saw the colors. It's a very teal, and it's got the leopard print on it. Absolutely love it, love it, love it. It's going to go with a couple of outfits that I have, and I don't have to put anything on it. Open mesh, Velcro back, ponytail. So if I have a high ponytail, middle, low ponytail, big tails, <laughs> it's a ponytail hat. But hey, you know, sometimes a girl's just got to have a hat. And I haven't had band on today, so I'm not going to try to put the hat on. But thumbnail. Oh, come on. It's cute. I think it's cute. All right. More. Reach down in this bag. Oh, yes. Another iron-on. You're not surprised, right? I know. This one was $1.29. And again, they put the sticker right in the middle of the face. So I'm going to pull it out. You can see what it says. It says, dead inside, but caffeinated. There we go. Try It glares because of the plastic. And, of course, it's got a coffee cup, and it's got the leopard print. And, yeah, this is going to go great because when this goes on a teal shirt, and I put this leopard and teal hat on with it, there you go, right? With <laughs> the mix and match. Dead inside, but caffeinated. I don't know if I'd say I'm dead inside, but yeah. numb, at least. Nothing wrong with being a little numb every now and then. Okay, what's next? Oh, this was $4.99. Now, I got to tell you, 
This was expensive for such a small container. However, this stuff is expensive, even when you buy a bigger one. And this is brush cleaner. Neon Yart, professional use only. This is to clean acrylic powder, acrylic compounds, so to speak, after you've done a fill or a set of nails. If you remember, I stressed to you how much you have to clean that brush to make sure nothing builds up on it. This will do it. This is an acrylic liquid, a cleaner for acrylic cleaner, cleaner, Plans Plus acrylic remover, um, washing nail water, brush cleaner, and thinner. So this will work with a whole bunch of different needs that you have regarding the acrylic nails. It will help if you do have to remove a nail. Um, I don't soak my fingers in this stuff, but what I will do after I remove the nail polish and I remove any loose pieces of nail, if I don't flatten a tip and slide it under like I showed you, I will soak a brush with some of this and go over the tip a few times around the edges to let it get under there and help lift it off. But this I got primarily to clean my brush and make sure. Now, it goes a long way. Because you can dip your brush in here repeated times. It doesn't matter. Um, the whole idea is to just get the gunk off the brush. So this is not something you have to pour out a little bit and then dump it. This will go a long way. And it will take a long time before it gets dirty enough that you actually have to throw it away. So I'm not worried that it costs five bucks for this little bit. Because this will probably last me a year. Not too bad, right? For five bucks divided by 12 months yeah pretty affordable consider all right what else is in this little goodie bag let me grab a couple of things because there's some small things in here i'm going to drop stuff all over the place today all right this was free with the order now i don't know how much i paid for this order i didn't mark the bag so i don't know if i got this entire order on credits or partial credits or whatever but i will find my receipt for this particular order and i'll pop it up um because i don't think i mixed anything in this order i think it was all inclusive i don't know we'll see but anyway this was free as you get things for free and uh when you do like a 20 dollars plus order and this says i speak fluent sarcasm <laughs> that should not surprise you at all silver pan black writing i speak fluent sarcasm y'all know that by now right okay they for whatever reason when timu decides to as some of you may have noticed they will throw additional free items at you it's probably the best I guess I can say is they want to try to get you to shop a little bit more and buy a little bit more if you're, because you're getting more free. Maybe they're trying to guilt you into it or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I have two more free things that came with this order. You've seen me haul these before, but I got more because, boy, are they wonderful. This is a set of four D-rings. And these are when you want to change a strap on a pocketbook. They're just golden metal D-rings. They have a screw hole on the bottom. Oops, it won't flip up. It's flipped down. There we go. They have a screw hole on the bottom. And they have little tiny screws, which I don't want to take out because I'm prone to losing them. But you can look in the corner there. You can see that little tiny screw right there in the corner. Right there. So all you have to do is with a... I don't use a hole punch because that's too big. I use either like a nut pick uh, or a very fine pin. And I just work the hole big enough so that I can get the screw through it because that's all you want to do. And then you screw the top. And it's great because I have bags that I want to change the handles on. And this is four. So it's two for each side if you have two straps or one for the ends if you just want one big strap. So when I did the other ones, I'm like, I need more of these. So I got more. And they happened to be free. 
And this happened to be free too. Um, I will put up what the value of these items, these free items was. So it'll be up there with the prices. I'm sure you've seen it. This is touch up paint for your car. This is red. My car is fire engine red. And I got this because I'm getting my car ready to sell. And I have a lot of little of rock dings and things from driving around Arizona. So I wanted to just touch them up ever so slightly. So I got this little thing of touch up paint. I don't know if it's the exact same shade, but the little dot that I have to put on here or there and then buff them out and whatnot. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference, but I'll try it in a less visual spot and see how it comes out. If I have a problem with it, I'll let you know. If I don't like it, I'll tell you why. And if it works out great, you probably won't hear anything more about it. <laughs> That's all there is. Oops, hold on. Got to hydrate. Mm. Ice coffee today. I need that coffee. Okay. We doing all right so far? Today's Saturday. How are you all doing today? We have a little more than a week. We have 10 days left in October, and that's it. And I do have two sponsored hauls coming from Timu. One is for what they call in cozy fall decor, and it's all like autumn stuff and autumn decor for like my front porch in the front of my house. And the other one is all Christmas stuff, and I'm just thrilled to be getting that stuff ready for outside okay this was originally 249 i did have a 26 cent price adjustment on it so i ended up paying two dollars and 23 cents and it's a much smaller bottle than you saw the other one but it's another bottle of monomer it's just acrylic nail fluid it's just the purple monomer for when you're doing your acrylic tips. It's a little spare bottle. Once I put something into my bigger bottle, I like to have a backup so that I know that once what I have in the bottle is not all that I have that I have a backup. So even though this is small, this is only 1.3 ounces, this will go a long way. As you saw, this will probably do five, four or five fills if I don't let my nails grow too much. And it'll at least do probably two or three full sets if I have to take all my nails off. So that will go a long, long way. Have you guys gotten your supplies? Have you hunted around for kits for, you know, new starter kits for new nail users or anything like that? I'd really love to hear if you're doing them or how you're doing with them and uh, if you have any more questions about it. I have heard from a couple of people that they're doing their own nails. and. Um, they're not using the term struggle, but it's taking them a while, and that's to be expected. I've been doing this for a lot of years. If you guys are new at it, it could take you half a day just to put your first set on. So do one nail, attach one nail at a time, get them down to length, prep them the way you want to prep them, and then just take your time. Take a break in between, walk away from it, and then go back and do your fill. All right, I got another one of these little darlings. This one was 78 cents. This is a jar gripper. Now, I am going to tell you, what these will break, and that's what happened to mine. It broke, and yes, it's red to match my kitchen. <laughs> what can I say? Anyway, it was working great. It wasn't that it wasn't working. I had a bottle, a, a bottle. I had a jar, a uh, mellow jar, excuse me, up in this bigger one. It had a bigger lid on it because it was a larger size jar, and I had a good grip on it because it goes this way so that the jar is under that little lip. See the lip in there? So it goes that way so the jar is under the lip. And, of course, it was holding it open a little bit like this because it'll hold it open however big the jar is. And that sucker did not want to come off, and I squeezed, and I literally snapped the handle, one side of this handle, because I was trying to squeeze them together to get a good grip on that and really turn it because it didn't want to open. And lo and behold, it just snapped. I'm like, okay. Well, I think the first one I paid like eight cents for. So I wasn't too heartbroken about it. But even tapping on the jar lid first, try, you know, turning it upside down and tapping it on the bottom, all tricks that we know 
how to open jars without having any help wouldn't work. So I turned to this and this. So I had to turn to um, other methods to get it open. But I did get it open. <laughs> anyway, we do work great. Don't be afraid of them. They come in a lot of different colors for under a buck. Um, we don't have them on the special deals. I know over the summertime, we all got very spoiled by a gazillion deals that were like six cents and three cents and two cents and, and just ridiculously low prices. Um, Chemo is not quite going that low anymore, but that's okay. You got to remember that was introductory and Chemo was brand new. And of course they were trying to make things affordable and entice everybody into shopping. Now that everybody is learning about Timu and being able to get um, get their products and learn how to shop and get their credits and they know about Timu, Timu is like, well, okay, we don't need those introductory prices. We're a year old now. But on occasion, they'll still do them simply because they're clearance. All right, so let me get this one open for you. This is a poster, and I'm trying to peel the tape off it that they have keeping it closed. I don't want to cut Charlie because use Charlie to cut because I don't want to cut the actual poster. But I did order frames and I have magnetic frames coming. Um, I've seen those on uh, Aaron's channel on Hey Everybody. And she raves about those magnetic frames and they're repeat buys for her. She gets them over and over. So this poster is very canvassy like I like that. It comes wrapped around foam, which I'm going to keep until I get the frames. And it says, assuming I'm just an old lady. Hold on, I gotta unfold it. <laughs> My gosh, it's so curled. All right, so assuming I'm just an old lady was your first mistake. <laughs> It comes in two different colors. It comes with a darker bluish background, but I had to get the lighter background because my walls in my home are dark. As you can see, my hallway wall back here, way out there where Levi does his circles, that's a nice uh, dark uh, combination between a rust and a pumpkin. It's a custom made color. But yeah, assuming I'm just an old lady, because your first mistake. There's another one out there I want to get. That says, um, underestimate me. That'll be interesting. I still want to get that one. So I had the two of them side by side. But this is great material. And you can see this is a nice canvas. It's like an artist canvas, like you would get to do oil paintings on. It's that type of canvas. So I am loving it. Yes, I could just tack it up with thumbtacks, but I don't really want to put holes in it. So I did get... I did order the frames for it. The colors are super vibrant on it. Seriously, me, I mean, especially look at her hair. You've seen me do the headband with the hair parted in the front and then somewhat pulled back out of the way over here. On this side, you can see where it's pulled back longer. Away. Yeah, it's me. What can I say? That's self-portrait. <laughs> I like me. Who do you like? No. Kidding. Well, I do like me. I like the person that I am. I think I'm fun. That's my opinion. It doesn't have to be yours. You may disagree. You may think I'm totally off the wall and oh my gosh, I drive you crazy because I'm just so out there. What can I say? I am who I am. I respect you for who you are. All I ask is the same. All right, we have another poster. Did I? I did tell you the price on that one, I think. Okay. Um, this one was $3.78. This is another poster. And, you know, I'm really pleasantly surprised. I went for just a usual checkup. Nothing major. Just went to my PCP, have my checkup. And I tend to work with the nurse practitioner in the office. She and I get along great. Uh, we can talk as if we were friends. I can be straight with her. I don't have to worry about watching my language. Uh, yeah, she's just absolutely wonderful. I'm trying to get this tape off. It doesn't want to go off. Um, anyway, I'm sitting in the room waiting for her. Not long, maybe like two minutes because she's quick. 
And I look up on the wall, and I'm looking around because they're always changing their art. And I look around, and lo and behold, if I don't see this very same sign on the wall, and it's in a dark wood frame. They had put it in a dark wood frame. And when she walked in, I was smiling. And she said, why are you smiling? Because I had ordered this exact same poster. Hold on a second, and I'm going to roll it back the different way. And that's what I said to her. I said, I just ordered that poster. And she asked where I got it from. And I just looked at her, and she's like, team, right? I'm like, seriously? Of course. (laughs) Where else would I get it from? But she happened to get a special frame for it. This is big. This is uh, like 14 by 20 or 16 by 20. And it says, today is a brand new day. Aspire for more. Take chances. Be amazing. Pursue your passion. Believe. Have fun. Be brave. Never give up. Work hard. Embrace kindness. Live your dream. Oops, hold on. It's pulled up on the bottom. Love well and stay strong. This is it. This just spoke to me when I ordered it. And then when I saw it in the doctor's office, I'm like, that's a sign. (laughs) I don't mean that as a pun. Yes, it's a sign. But I meant it's a sign. It's a a positive omen. Uh, It's an indication that I made the right choice. And again, this is that thick artist canvas. I debated on putting it in a frame, but because the wording goes so close to the edge, I decided I was going to get the magnetics for it. And this one, too, is going to be hanging on a magnet. So great quality. Absolutely love it. Painter's canvas. Very, very happy with it. I am going to roll it in the opposite direction, though, so that it will somewhat straighten out. I was not aware of the quality of the signs um, of these posters, these canvas type posters, my team who has. And these are my first two buying them. I don't know if you've ever seen anybody else that's bought them, but these are the first two ever. And I couldn't be happier. The printing on them, the coloring on them is unbelievable. The quality of them, the canvas itself. I don't know if you can see that canvas. It's like, can you see the ridges in it? Waiting for my camera to focus. Anyway, you probably can't. But it it literally feels like when I used to paint, it feels like one of those pre-hung artist canvases that you would buy. I could could not be happier with that. Couldn't be happier. All right, what I do with my bag? Well, poltergeist. Oh, I emptied it. Yeah, I'm having a blonde moment. And yes, I am truly blonde prior to turning gray, but I guess I'm really having a blonde moment with this. Uh, all right, got one more bag for you. And this one I did mark. This order was zero. And I will put my receipt up there. And I'm going to tell you why I'm going to put the receipt up there. I got a couple of messages. Well, I got one message from a Timu influencer that has eight large following and that influencer said there's no way that you're getting all these orders for free well I was offended basically I was being called a liar I've already shown you guys the receipts you know every time I get an order like that or like the big package where I paid 29 cents for I showed you the receipt so I really took offense and I wrote back to this person and I said look I don't have to prove anything to anybody. And if my viewers take it into question, then I will definitely address it for my viewers. Obviously, this person was one of my viewers because that channel was watching this channel. So, yeah. All right. I'm about to get in somebody's face. Zero order. Here's the receipt. Nothing. Credits told you guys before, I'd gotten over $80 worth of credits because of shipping issues. I know I can't be the only one out there. 
that's doing that, right? Or that's get this bag does not want to stay put. It's like, no, you're not putting me. So anyway. I don't know why. And whoever accused me of something like that. Oh, that's not good. All right. This started out as 58 cent, two cent price adjustment. So it was 56 cents. And this is just a cute little ring box. It's got 24 sections to it. Nice little snap closure in the front. What I like about this is that the lid is so tight on top that it would stop the items from jumping across. This I got just for my turquoise rings. I have so many rings with turquoise in them or so many with not just blue turquoise, but orange turquoise and white and purple turquoise. Because turquoise does come in a lot of the stone, the gem turquoise comes in a lot of different colors. It can be found in a lot of different colors. So I wanted to separate them out and then save my ring holders like because I have the round discs with like 12 or 15 little fingers sticking up. You can probably see them like right there on front of my mirror. So that way I can keep all my other ones. But this is going to be for the ones with the turquoise gemstones. Just big enough. It does have a little loop on the side. If I wanted to hang it up on something, keep it up, you know, on the wall or whatever. So that I could see, I you know, I'll put it on the dresser. I'll, I'll put it, stack it with where my pins are. I don't need to be hanging everything and doing airspace with everything. But this would also be good for, like, if you had smaller post earrings um, and you don't have a good place to store them. Post earrings, rings, pins. I have one similar to this, but with more grids that I keep my hat pins in uh, until I put them on a designated hat. So this is great for a lot of jewelry stuff. This is also great if you do beadwork, uh, jewelry making, any kind of charms that you might have that you want to put in a certain spot, small little necklace pendants that you might change from chain to chain, put them on something different. Yeah. So think outside the box and then use this box. All right. I will never stop with the pawns. Don't say that. <laughs> You know we think outside the box here. This is a Christmas item. Some of my orders now are getting mixed up with the different like fall holiday stuff. This was originally a dollar ninety four. Two price adjustments. One for twenty five cents. One for sixty nine. No, one for seventeen cents. Excuse me, twenty five and seventeen. So I ended up only paying a dollar fifty two for this. You saw the other one that I got. For fall, this one is for Christmas. Really well wrapped. It's got bubble wrap all over it, which I like. Ha, ha, ha. I will say, and it's an ant. It's got them little Kermit the Frog bug eyes, which I love. This one is in red. The one I had got, and I love it's got a springy neck on it. The other one that you saw was orange and that's already outside in the basket with my candy corn gnome this one is going to go out there for christmas time so i have a red ant for christmas i didn't like the green one and i don't like the traditional red and green i like like red and gold or blue and silver but red and green not so much but anyway it'd be the cutest thing he's got his mouth open he does have a spot on the two of his feet you could put screws in if you wanted to screw him to a wall or attach him someplace, you know, a zip tie him to somewhere. But all the way around, 360 degrees, he's just adorable. Cute, right? <laughs> so red for Christmas. And I am putting him right into my Christmas goodie bag, which is right down here next to your goodie box. Got some more stuff that's going to be going in your goodie box, too. When I hit the 5,000 subscribers. Oh, yeah. All right. Let me put something else out. Now, remember, this was a zero order. So the prices I'm giving you is the value that the item had. Uh, this had an original value. This was on a uh, lightning deal, $0.09, cents, and it had a $0.02 cent price adjustment. So it brought the value down to $0.07. Cents. This is a great idea for anybody that uses nail polish. 
This is a nail polish pen. There we go. Nail po I don't know why. There we go. Okay, wrong way. This way. I got to point it towards my fill light. Nail polish remover pen. Very simply, it's got the end that looks just like a pen. And that's where your polish comes out. It's a very soft, almost like, well, the tip is hard, but the material on top of it is soft. This end, whoops, I just lost a couple of pieces, but that's all right. This end is where you unscrew it. Hold on. So you can pop it off. Oh, my goodness. Come on, pop off. There we go. This is the end that you fill with your nail polish. All right, it goes all the way down in there, and you can see that tip comes a long way up. There's like a pad in there that absorbs the polish, the polish remover, and holds it. And this comes on tight. You saw how hard I had time getting it out. All right, and then it's got the cut. Now, what fell out? Hold on, I gotta go down here and get them. Oh my goodness. Okay. You got a red face when I bend forward, right? It comes with replacement tips. So the little tip that you actually use, it comes with two replacements. So that all you have to do is when the one tip down here gets worn out, you can just replace it. Put a new one in. I love that, right? So they were in the lid, and I forgot that they were in the lid. That's my bad. That's why they went flying. All right, so I'll put them back in there, put the lid back on. I should have looked because you can see them. So it's great. So for seven cents, I got the nail polish remover pen with two replacement tips. You simply just take the pen. You go along the edge of your fingernail. On the back side of your fingernail, wherever you got a little extra polish, sometimes you bump onto it and you got a little polish on the side of your finger, so you can just take this and go like that. This is great. I bring in my nail polish with me on the go. So if I'm doing something, I have this little tiny kit. If I'm doing something and I damage a nail or I got something on it and I need to do a quick touch up, this is perfect in case I make a mess. So absolutely love it. For under a dime, can't complain, right? And it comes with spare chips. Bonus! All right, what we got next in here? Oh, yes. This is going on the side of my refrigerator. This was a $1.65. It is a 2024 calendar slash event um, tracker. I don't know which one I want to use for. Anyway, hold on, and I'm going to show you all the different pieces to it. They folded it up very nicely. I'm going to open this up. It's big. This is why I'm putting it down the side of my refrigerator. So on the side. It's for the whole year. It's got all the months listed down the one side, and then across the rows, it's got all the days of the month. It is big enough to write things in it, should you want to do that. And it's perfect size for me, because I can just write, you know, PCP, 10 a.m., or E for endo and whatnot. Nice, sturdy, it's, it's, it's a heavier paper. It's not super, super thin. So I'm going to be putting it up with two-sided tape. But what I love that it comes with is it has all these little decals. So you can put these. Hold on. Let me go on this side. You can put these decals on. Part, you know, most. What is it? I don't know. Sunset, suns, clouds, windies, partly cloudy, mostly cloudy, moons. So it's. You know, if there's anything about the weather you want to keep track of, you've got all these weather stickers, and there's quite a few of them. 11 times 99. This sheet has 99 stickers. So 
That's pretty good. You can mark certain days and you can write inside these stickers. Like if you have a little Sharpie, you can put a notation inside there. So it comes with those stickers. And then it also comes with this set of stickers. And these are just stars, circles, what things that look like ribbons, anything for like little special notations you have to make. So you can put the stickers um, on the month, on a day, if you have something special and you really want it to stand out. For example, if it's somebody's birthday, you might want to put, you know, a banner on it and, you know, just put the name of the person that's having a birthday. Whatever, birthdays, anniversaries, awards, special events, major things that are happening. So it gives you all these stickers and this big giant calendar for, what did I say, $1.65? That's a pretty good deal. That is going up with my fancy schmancy little two-sided tape this afternoon. It will be up this afternoon. All right. Let's see what else I got in this bag. Oh, I got more than that. Oh, my little oof girl is still sitting here. I like her. All right. This one is empty. Let's see what we got here. All right. These were a value of $1.34. They kept coming up in, I don't know, my feed, whatever you want to call it. Um, every time I would search for something, if I would just like type in the word clearance and do my usual search, or when I was getting ready to check out and they throw all that stuff at you before, you, you know, on your way to the checkout box. These kept coming up, and I kept looking at them and looking at them and looking at them and looking at them, and I wasn't sure I wanted them. I went back, and I looked at the um, size of them repeatedly. A couple of times, I actually looked at the size of them to make sure they were big enough for me, and they are. So hang on. Let me put this back on because it will give me these are really funky pair of earrings. Look at those. Beige, teal, orange, all the southwestern colors, and they're a good size. They're probably almost two inches hanging. Oops, hold on. Got to switch hands. There we go. These are really, really nice. I'm not crazy that they're posts, but that's okay. I do plan on taking this piece off and changing this into a hook and then using this as this round piece as a top for another pair of earrings that uh, one of my customers wants that like those buttons so that's the only thing that put me off was the buttons on the top that holds the post but for some people you might like it very thick nicely made it is acrylic in nature let me see which way do i want to go i don't know which way i want to go there we go but, yeah, they're pretty cool. And I like their dangle. They have a good swing to them. They actually come with, oops, I'm dropping everything again today. They come with a spare back. They actually have three backs that they come with. So I'll put the back on this other one. And I like that because people are always losing backs, right? Doesn't hurt to have a spare back. This back doesn't want to go on. Maybe that's why they gave me a spare. Okay, it doesn't want to go on. Let's try the other one. See if that makes a difference. Yep. All right. So there they are. Pretty cute. It's kind of the top is kind of like a butterscotch color, if that makes sense to you guys. Not quite as yellow as a butterscotch. And then it's got the orange teals and whites in the middle and, of course, the darker teal on the bottom. Really cute pair. Very nice. I'm not disappointed at all in them. I'm actually kind of glad I got them. Okay. Oh, yes. Now, this started out as 92 cents. First, I got an 11 cent price adjustment, then a 6 cent price adjustment, then an 8 cent price adjustment. So it ends up coming down to 67 cents. 
And this is a little bit bigger version of the mini calendar. Here's the one I got before, which is really mini. And you can see this one is a little bit bigger. So this little super mini one is sitting on my desk. This one is going to sit on, in the kitchen. And the same way, you just open up the bottom, push it in as far as you can push it in, and fold it in the opposite direction so that it creates that stand for you. And again, this one goes from July. Does it go from July? Hold on. Yes, it goes from July of 2023 all the way to December of 2024 but this one look what's in the back it has stickers it gives you some stickers now here's the thing I immediately thought of using the stickers as little tabs on the side in case I need to go to a specific month in a hurry so I'm going to use those stickers to label my months, but you can use them for anything you want. You can use them, you don't even have to use them on this calendar. You can use them for anything else, but you've got this nice little set of stickers that it comes with. I thought that was great. And again, it goes all the way to December of 24. And I love that the pages on this one are in gray. So it's not just the cover, the pages are also in gray. And it does come in a lot of other colors. But this one, I got the gray because they didn't have a red. And they didn't have a black, oddly enough. Um, well, they didn't have a black available. So I got the gray. And this is going to go sit in my kitchen. So that, again, I'm not one of those people that drag my cell phone all over the place with me. So that I don't have a calendar on hand. And I don't like to fill up my walls with calendars. It's just, it's not my thing. So that's why that big calendar is going to go on the side of the refrigerator. It'll technically be out of sight unless you happen to walk past it. Um, because along the side of my refrigerator is the way going from the kitchen to the living room. So you won't see it unless you walk past it. So it'll be out of sight, but it'll be there. This will be small enough that it's not going to make a really big impression, but yet it can sit up on my shelf over my stove where I keep all my other important little accoutrements that I use in the kitchen, all my little Timu items <laughs> and more. Uh, so that's where it's going to sit. So it's the coolest little thing. Not too big. I think all tall, this is maybe three inches tall by about two and a half inches wide. So, and I do love that it comes with the stickers. So that, I thought, was very, very cool. All right. Two more things in this bag. I do want to show you. Hold on. Uh-oh. Things are falling over. Well, that's all right. Yesterday, I got a team of delivery in an orange bag. I about dropped. I'm like, oh, they still exist. But this came from a shipper called Uni Uni, U-N-I, U-N-I. Never heard of them before. Um, I think they're a new shipper that team was starting to use in place of another shipper that they were having issues with. So when I saw the orange bag, I'm like, there are shippers out there, or maybe there's, uh, there might be custom offices or something where they're being inspected, that they have orange bags left to use. Right, one. Should be excited about that, right? <laughs> okay, I got two of these. They're identical, so I'm only going to open one for you. Originally, they were $4.98. They only had a two cent price adjustment when I priced them. So I brought the value down to $4.96 each. But either way, under $5 a piece. Do you remember um, the green planting barrel that I got? The cloth planter that I got, the big one for like, it has a little window for potatoes and carrots and garlic and peanuts and all that other stuff that grows underground? Well, that's on my lanai. Um, and it's in the, the center. And then these two are the same green and black. And these are the colors of my lanai, mint green and black. These are hanging pots, but these are the upside down pots. 
So these will be for uh, my cherry tomatoes or whatever um, I decide to grow that will basically come out the bottom of the pot and hang upside down. So I got two of these and they're identical. They will go, they will hang on either side above the made of the same planting material. They also have all these little green circles. They have holes so that as the item that you, you put your item in the bottom and then you cover the dirt on top of it and you hang it this way. All right. So as your item grows and sprouts, it comes out all these little holes. Now for tomatoes, you don't, you don't plant it. In other words, when I take the plant and I put it in the pot, I put the first sprout through the hole and then pour the dirt on top of it. So as it grows, it will sprout out throughout because it will get roots and it'll grow like crazy. So anyway, I got two of these and these are a good size. Can you see how round this is? This is about as big around as a dinner plate. So probably I would say 10 inches, 8 to 10 inches around with the grow holes all over the place. Nice, sturdy handles. And the handles are nylon, as you can see. They're like backpack handles. They're sewn on really, really well. All the way around, plus cross stitches to hold them on. So I'm really excited that I will be able to plant. And I'm not sure what I'm going to put into these two. I really don't know what's going to go in them yet. I do know one is going to have tomatoes. I think the other might have, I might do green peppers or yellow peppers. I'm not sure. I don't know. Because there's so many different options. There's so many different plants that will grow out of one of these things. This is, let's see, it doesn't give any sizes on it. Nope, it doesn't give any information. But if you've ever used one of these, you know what to do, depending on what you're growing. And if you haven't used one of these, just Google upside down planters, you know, um, or hanging, you know, upside down hanging planters. It'll give you very clear instructions, which is a piece of cake, very simple to do. So, yeah, I am looking forward. This is going to be my um, substitute until I can actually finish working on my backyard, which I have to finish all the landscaping out there. And then I can do the garden out there, the elevated garden that I want to do. So this will hold me over in the meantime. Um, and it'll protect everything because it'll be inside the lanai. It'll get sunshine, right? It'll get lots of light and fresh air because it'll be hanging where the screens are. I'm thrilled. Okay, we did it. That's it. That's two bags. We're at almost 50 minutes. So thank you for hanging with me. I hope you enjoy the items in this haul. Again, they bring you variety. We have at least one bag that I know was zero cost. Um, and whatever the images that I put up of the other order, um, I don't know. But keep in mind, most of the time when it's a zero cost, it's because I've been saving and accumulating those credits and I wait to shop. I don't do an order every day. I look to see how many credits do I have or how many credits might I have or do I have an order that's like in a day it's going to be late and I might get that $5, oops, we're sorry, thrown at me. So I keep an order on my tracking so that I know if that may happen. That way I can expect that, okay, well, if it's not here by tonight, if it's not here by tomorrow, and I will hold off on placing my order so that I can get that extra credit to go with it, right? I check my team exclusive. I do my daily scratch. I go in and I look at my... Um, emails every day to check to see if Timu has sent me a link where I can get those daily boxes and I can get that extra two cents times three or four, whatever they want to give me. I'm always looking for that. And I check my price adjustments twice a day. So because I'm so fanatical about doing all that, I accumulate those credits and I save them. I, I exercise patience, which is real for me because I'm not a very patient person. But I do exercise the patience and I will wait and I will hold off as opposed to paying a higher price. But if there's something I really want, I'll pay for it. I've got orders that I paid for, plenty of orders that I've paid for. 
but I just try to minimize my out of pocket. So anyway, guys, thanks for staying with me. I really appreciate you hanging out the whole time. Please, if you enjoyed this, like it, share it. And if you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you would give consideration to subscribing to my channel and helping me grow. I am aiming towards 5,000. I don't have a goal as to win, but I'm aiming towards 5,000 subscribers. And those of you who have watched me know that I am accumulating a big goodie box. I have already given away one goodie box um, for when I hit the, my first 1,000 subscribers. So I'm at it again. All right. Please all stay comfortable wherever you are. Make sure you stay hydrated. Above all else, please stay sweet. And I will catch you again in a couple of days.